Okay, let's talk about textures for our castle. Textures are applied with the paint bucket tool and there are a number of different folders that you'll find under materials that might work for our castle. You can see I've applied a few of them already. There's a nice brick texture and you can click on individual things that you want the texture to be applied to. You can also adjust the textures. You can see these bricks are very small. So I'm going to go to the Edit tab and actually make the bricks larger. So this is set to repeat every three feet. If I make it every six feet, you can see that the bricks do get larger. I'm going to go back to my selection tool and show you how you might select everything at once so I could apply that brick texture to all of the castle. One way is to try and drag a selection box around, but that can be a little bit tricky to get every single face, especially some that might be on the other side. So I want you to learn the keyboard shortcut called Control A. Control A for Control All selects everything within the screen, anything in your file. If you're looking at files on Windows Explorer, it'll select all the files. If you're in a Google document, it'll select everything that's in the document. So very helpful for doing things like grouping the entire castle, as well as applying a texture to the whole thing at once. So sometimes you have to click twice to get that to go, but now the entire castle has been given this six foot texture. Let me make that an 18 foot texture. And you can see that the bricks are nice and big. And you can see that brickwork from far away. Now, what I'll do now is select the floor and pick a different texture. So I'm going to go back to my paint bucket tool and go to select from the stone. And there's a nice stone pavers walkway texture that we can apply to the floor. If I click away, you can see that it repeats a whole lot here. And so it would really look nice if we were zoomed in, but from a distance, it doesn't look so good. So once again, I'm going to go to Edit and maybe give this a slightly redder tech color as well. You've got the color wheel here, so you can make it match or make it contrast, whatever it is you want to do. And make that larger as well. Let me make that a double sized 12 foot texture. And now we've got flagstone on the ground and then brick on the walls. Another thing that can be awfully handy is to put a different texture. Let's find another texture for the top. There are quite a few here that you can work with, um, including just plain colors. And so these are named colors. And if we wanted to put gold, say, for the top of all of our crenellations, then yes, we would need to click one time on the top of each of the crenellations. But once you make that selection and you say, okay, the crenellations tops are going to have something different on them, then what you can do is change all of those at once. Let's say, no, I want green instead. You can select green and don't just click on one of them, but shift click on a yellow and all the yellows will turn to green. And so you can change out your color schemes for your castle and try out things that will work well for you. Now, if you are going to be editing your lines still, you're still making crenellations, you have adjustments to make, then what you want to do is go ahead and turn off the textures. And you can do that by going to Face Style, where it says Shaded with Textures, you can have just the shaded. Now, those dark colors on there may cause some problems. You might lighten those up temporarily and then be able to see what you're working with and then change them back to another color that you may prefer. But this way you can see your whole castle and see all the lines without those textures and turn them back on. Uh, while I'm here, the view also has the toolbars, which if you lose your toolbar, it's usually that getting started toolbar. If you want to add toolbars, such as this extended drawing one, you could have all the different drawing tools available instead of having to do the drop downs. You would have them all right there. The other thing that's kind of cool with the view is that you have shadows. 
You can turn on shadows and see what it's going to look like. Again, it can make it difficult to do the editing, especially in combination with those textures. So you can turn the shadows on and off, especially if you're working on an older computer. You don't want those shadows on. And if you want to see what the shadows do, there's actually a window just for the shadow controls. And you can change what the time of day is or even the time of year. As you can see, during the summer, the shadows are shorter. In the winter months, the days are longer and the shadows are longer. So we'll turn off the shadows and start working on adding different colors to our different parts of our castle.